Hello, Akron fans! This is ShadowFreeCC3 bringing you another Akron match, another FP VOD. This time it's me versus King John VI on a brand new map called Westwood Plateau. This is a completely new map and a very large map at that. It's a map with one main island as the main terrain. Actually, I believe I turned my terrain off accidentally. And I didn't. Anyhow, one main map, lots of terrain. And on top of that, there's... Oh dear, I seem to be behind someone here. Anyway, get rid of the blur effect. So yeah, one main island. All the players start here. You have all the main bases here. Expansions in the middle. And various choke points throughout. Nice little city, actually, built inside this place. As well, there are islands ringing the map. There's two islands, one to the south and one to the north. And then a third island over to the side, which is fairly long. So... This map was built to encourage the use of teleporters and transports instead of simply playing pure rush strategies and avoiding the use of teleporters and transports because the maps were too small. This is actually more or less at the request of the developers because they wanted to see how game balance would work out on larger maps and we didn't have enough up to this point. So now we do. So this should be very interesting. It's actually a one versus one against King John VI as I mentioned before. So I'm currently playing Grekham. I don't know what he's playing. I will find out as soon as I can, get a scout going, and find where he is and what he's playing. And once I figure that out, then I'll be able to figure out what to do against it, and hopefully I will be able to prevail and not build a resource processor in what potentially is my opponent's base. And my other Octo will become part of my triad. So, at this point, just building up normally, getting all the stuff I need for basic triad, basic tech, get a reef up quickly, get a sepi up quickly, at the very least for defense. And then from there, I will be able to build up, well, build up tech, build up spire, build up everything. Where is my, oct okay, my resource processors, here we are. So I have enough for a faro, so that's done, and sepi is done. So I can now build a reef, and at the same time, I will actually build another sepi once the reef has been constructed, and I have enough money for the sepi afterwards. And now, okay, so now we have a fairly decent defense force, and it looks like I'm actually being attacked. No, I'm attacking. I found him, apparently. Or, no, I found a scout. Okay, so our scouts found each other, and it looks like mine killed his, so that's good. Well, Octas are fairly strong, especially after the last patch. They became quite powerful, or as powerful as they should have been, but weren't because there was some issues, apparently, with... It doesn't really matter. The point is, it's been fixed. The game had a slight imbalance, and now the game is, pow is pretty well balanced. It's... So, yeah. Much improved, all the races, lots of variety, lots of variety in the base class units, and if you have played it before and were concerned about this at all, be assured it has been fixed entirely, so everything, especially for Grekham, has been made a lot more varied. And anyway, out of prison the game, he is playing CISO, he tried to fake out with, or did he try to fake out with Vekir? Because it looked like he did. That looked like a, a Veer, Veer class unit. And uh, no, I'm just blind. It was actually Marine. So he is playing CISO, so I had better be building my Seppies, because I'm going to need those. Seppies being anti-air units is very useful against CISO. I should probably get an Octo or two up just in case, and actually maybe build another resource processor. I'm trying to go for quick tech, obviously, as I have two resource processors in Q Plasma, but I really should be getting a bit more in the way of well, tech that's not quite so... Well, not so much tech more stuff that supports tech, like units, because units are pretty necessary to support tech, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to last very long as it is if I get attacked at all, which knowing King John VI is very likely. Actually, it looks like King John VI has attacked me anyway. Yes, he has. Okay, so it's good to know he's going to attack me over on the north side. And this is why all the maps here tend to have two entrances to each base, as opposed to one in, for example, StarCraft, is that really if you have two expansions to, or entrances to each base, it's fine, you can see when units are coming and where they're coming from, so you don't have to worry about getting rushed unexpectedly and then losing everything. At the same time, you also have much greater variety in terms of- Oh my goodness, I'm getting attacked a lot sooner than I thought it would be. You also get much greater variety in terms of the map layout and your, and your strategies because you can go out either side. At any rate, looks like I need to actually pull the sepi behind a bit and wait for these octos to come in. And now they come. So the Octos have to come in. The Octos will be able to make short work of these units. The Sepi, on the other hand, will not last especially long. I need to get these Octos. Actually, you know what? You... Well, maybe I, I can live without you. Guys, come on. Over here. I need you to save the Sepi. Especially the Octo. Right. So, 
Spar coming in here, and it looks like my Octo in his base is actually last one. Oh my goodness, he's going for two factories. He has no importers yet, so maybe he's going for a mech rush or something. Either that or he's built his importers separately, because at this point he really should have built more importers. And it looks like... Okay, so his rush has been apparently defeated, but he does attack me earlier in the past, and it's hard to tell. Do I lose at all from that? Looks like nothing really new has come from that, so at this point I'd say I'm in pretty good position. So just go to the end of the attack and start building up some air units, get a civic bot up. I should probably get legal class pretty soon, because on this map I do need transports. Grekum does not have teleporters, so Grekum does need transporters to get anywhere. And it looks like I'm going to be attacked by a cloak unit very soon, so I'm going to need to get a faro as well. Oh my, this, he is being relentless. Okay, so at this point... Kingdom of the Six is basically attacking very hard against all of my forces. Wherever they are, he moves elsewhere, which is, you know, nature of the game. Can't really fault him for that. But it is mildly annoying, and I do need to get my units out of the way so I can actually deal some damage. I mean, my Sebi's out of the way so my Octos can come in, deal some damage, finish off these units, because Octos will make short work of them. There we go, so that's one Octo down, and the Faro will need to be over here. While a Sebi pod should be built fairly soon, actually, now that I think about it. Or maybe not. Maybe I missed it. Anyway, get another... I'm just going to get some more resource processors up. Actually, going to get one on a further expansion, just to have a bit of a better scouting information point. I, it's not that great. Really, a comp center, or a mound, rather, would be a better idea if I wanted to get purely scouting information. But partly, it's also... I want to make sure that... Ah, here is the ATHC. So, partly, I want to make sure that I have more resources as well, and resources across the map. And actually, now that I remember, one weakness of mine in my play has been always that I have a really hard time making... Or remembering to make... So if you probably get over here. You need a detector. Remembering to make causally independent triads. That is, triads where the units are going to survive even if my entire main base has been slaughtered, which it very often is. So I'm just going to get these two guys over to... Where should I put them? I might as well put them over here somewhere. Maybe put them up in this base. King John 6 probably is not expecting that since he is going to be going elsewhere. And actually, I'm just going to make them individualized too. And get a Faro as well, or Faro 2. And it looks like I'm actually getting attacked. Uh, yes, there's there appears to be an ATHC trying to cockblock my expansion. So, I will have to go take care of that as soon as I can. As well, get an Octo so I can help out with this tri... Or, not an Octo, a Faro. Though an Octo will be handy, just in general. And, you know, I think a Faro pod would be good around this time. I need to get some pod class units slowly, enough to make sure it's still safe. But, enough that I do actually get higher tech, because I'm going to need to get a legal class very soon. And here's a Lancer, okay. Not quite as useful in this patch as they were before, but still a very potent unit if you don't get rid of them as quickly as possible. If you don't have the, all the anti-air units that you need to get rid of them. And it looks like I'm going to have to go back and defend slightly. But where is this? So you need to go out here, because I need to have some information over here. The Seppi needs to go back here. This other Seppi needs to go over here to help... or no, over here, sorry. And you need to... actually, you need to individualize and also go over there. And at this point, it looks like there's only future attacks that I don't know about. And that's just an attack... Okay, that's the Lancer that I just killed, so I don't have to worry about that. The rest of you guys go for a straight-on attack. I'll build some support forces in the back, and we'll all be home for Christmas. Not that Christmas is really relevant when you're on some alien planet as an alien race, you probably doesn't even celebrate Christmas or have any concept of Christianity or any of the things, any of the historical traditions that correspond to- Oh crap, there's a- there is a Chrono Porter. Okay, and it's just been used to send back a couple ATHCs, I think. Just been used at any rate. Shoot. So I'm gonna have to worry about units attacking me in the far, far, far past because at this point I am- well, like I said, I have the causally independent progen triad. I'm going to really need them, because apparently my main base is going to be attacked very soon. Because I've just seen, he sent back units, and... Okay, it's 10 minutes in the game. Fairly reasonable amount of time to send back units. Actually, you know what? I should probably get... Now that I think about it, I should probably get some over here. And I should probably get some from my causally independent triad, or causally independent duo. Once, apparently, he decides to progenerate. And my main base attack. So, I have destroyed his Chrono Porter. But I think it's too little too late. He still has the ability to chronoport. He still has chronoported, I should say. Not even the ability to. He has chronoported. These ATHCs that he used before... I'm not sure if it's going to make a big difference, though. ATHCs aren't that powerful, unless he has another unit that he also had up his sleeve. And it looks like I was stupid and made my units too close together when they were generated. 
Unless there's another unit up his sleeve, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about much, but I am going to have to worry about getting some more resources and also making sure that I do have enough stuff at a relevant time in case he does attack me in such a way that I can't really counter without using, well, using all, more resources than I currently am getting. Because at this point, most of my stuff is causally dependent, and this is bad. This is very bad, because I can't actually defend anything with anything if my main base has been destroyed. And if my main base is destroyed, which it seems likely to be if a chronoporter attack has come in, that looks like I managed to defend it successfully. Still, it's a lot of damage, and I don't know how well I will manage to defend against any future chronoporter attacks. At this point, I'm just going to build Gate Tech. It looks like I'm in fairly safe position, and I did, like I said, manage to destroy his chronoporter, so I don't think any future chronoporting attacks are likely. Oh, hey, look at that. I have another possible progen triad. So I'm going to send these guys off as well to go here and to become progenerators of their own. And oh, did I lose a Seppi? Did I lose? Oh, shit. I lost part of my triad up there. Okay, so I'm going to need to work harder to make this causally independent, and it looks like I'm going to actually get more units entirely, get Lego class once I can, because at this point, at this point, I'm pretty much safe. I have chronoporting. As long as I can get chronoporting to fall off the edge of the timeline right here, then it'll be permanent, and even then, I don't know how much really I have to worry about beyond that. So it looks like I'm in a pretty good spot. I just need to get... Probably actually take advantage of this spot and get more resources as well. Although I'm really starting to get worried about this fact that this Faro is just on its own. I don't have a Seppi to help it. Like I said, I'm going to send another Seppi over there to just help it out. And there we go. Okay, so Seppi is going forward. Oh, crap. So he's expanded already to this spot. So he sees that I will be throwing in another triad. However, this is probably a good thing. Because now he sees that I have a possible well, duo ready to become a triad pretty soon. So he knows that I'm going to be doing something like this. But he doesn't necessarily know when or where. He's probably going to assume I'm trying to do it where I'm doing it now. When in reality, I'm actually doing it elsewhere. And he hasn't seen that yet. So, that being said, I still need to actually get that elsewhere working. You guys need to go here and finish off this other resource processor. And then you guys just attack and move to the rest of the base. Whereas, units 1, go over here and try to take care of this chronoporter, or take care of this tornado before it has a chance to chronoport, unless it already has chronoport, which apparently it already has, oh shit. Yes, it already has. Okay, with a cruiser. So this is bad. However, this is remediable. I can go back. I, I said I can go back. No, I can go back. There we go. I can go back with Sebipods. Sebipods will be able to deal enough damage to probably get rid of these guys, assuming that the time wave that carried these guys did not kill the Sebipods, which they probably wouldn't, actually. No, it did. Oh shit, I am in a paradox. So, my best bet is that if this falls off the timeline before anything else happens, then we should be fine. But, yeah, it looks like my whole causal independence structure fell apart, seeing as my stupid Seppi did not want to live. Okay, well, if this... come on, come on. I'll have to worry about... if this, if this chronoport event... if this chronoport event falls off the... Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. If that chronoport event falls off the timeline before this green time wave comes, it might... it just might... I'm not sure. And it looks like... If I can just fall off the timeline, almost, almost, and, oh shit, I'm not sure. I think, I think it didn't. Oh, wait. Yes, it did. Paradox resolution in my favor. All right. Take that, causality. So yeah, as you may have gathered, I actually did manage to tell, to chronoport my Seppi pod back. Though I don't know how well it will last, but it might be able to at least buy me some time. And yeah, it looks like it actually did buy me some time. At least in one of the states, so... Shoot, not sure how much time it does buy me, though. It looks like... I do manage to build enough seppies to get out of this, so I will be able to get out of this. Oh my goodness, that was tense. That was really tense. So, at this point, I am in a bad spot. I need more chrono energy than I have, but I can just build a bunch of seppies at this point, and if I have to, I suppose I can chronoport them back, though I don't have a lot of key plasma coming in. But still, that was nuts. Oh, man. Okay, so you go back here. Why not? Oh, these are just... No, these are seppies. Why are you not going back here, you seppies? Come on. Come on. All right, let's go. Okay, so I have a couple seppies actually out here. You know what? These seppies are causally independent. One of you guys goes over here and makes a causally independent triad. Because I need you guys to go make a causally independent triad. You go here. You four... You two. Go here. I'm following this guy. 
And a bunch of you guys I will have go elsewhere. And at this point, I really should be building some transport units because I need to get some of those islands. I am not safe on here, and I don't know what my opponent has done, what King John VI has done with his islands. And it looks like... Oh, crap. Because coming to bite me in the ass. Okay. I'll have to... I'll have to try this once again. So it looks like I managed to only get a couple of them back. And no, they're not going to last at all. Okay, so that was bad. That was really bad. But I do have a causally independent Seppi coming out here. So, if that can hold, despite my entire main base getting destroyed, and it looks like it does... Oh my goodness, really? Really? That Seppi isn't causally independent enough? Oh my... Oh, come on. Actually, it looks like... Oh crap, did he... Yes, he did. He found my triad. Okay, well... Ugh. <sighs> I guess I taunted causality a bit too soon. As it looks like, I am not going to be able to do much with this at all. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm going to just double check. It looks like, yeah, it looks like I am dead. So, seeing as my death is just about to fall off the timeline and I'm about to be permanently killed, I'm just going to say good game right now. And I hope you enjoyed this. This is a tense match, and have a good night.